welcome back to my channel or about that breaking cycles life it is the last thursday in the year 2022 and because it's a thursday it's trivia thursday so stick around to the end of the video and you'll find out what today's trivia question is guys again no scripture for this devotional just something to ponder and i think we say it every year and of course every year we still have the same struggle <laughs> and its resolutions as you can tell from the title but this time i want us to literally try making one resolution be consistency for the year 2023 let's be consistent in going after what god wants us to go after right and not only consistency, but let's ask God what his will is for our lives. And let's ask him and let's obey what he's telling us to do. And I can give you the example of medical school. <laughs> it was what, two, three weeks ago. I was in anesthesiology class and I was in scrubs, right? And I took a picture. You know, of course, every medical student, um, when they have the first chance to be in scrubs, they are so excited, they take pictures, right? So I took the picture. And uh, I, and when I took the picture and I started to reminisce after having such an amazing, such an amazing anesthesiology class, and I was able to observe like two surgeries my heart was full and when I looked at that picture after coming back from um, class that day I looked at that picture and I'm like wow this is really what I desire to do is to be a doctor right and uh, that made me start to think about everything that i went through since that very moment he whispered in my ears medicine right from that very moment he whispered in my ears medicine and everything that transpired up to this very point that i looked at that picture saw myself in scrubs and said wow i can't believe i'm going to be a doctor and I am happy like sincerely happy and <laughs> and I am so grateful to God that he literally was prominent in my life to keep me on track for his will right and I want you guys in 2020 in 2023 to experience the same mine took it was since 2017 now we're in 2022 five years literally five years to get to the point where i totally now agree with that whisper that he said shanique do medicine i was fighting it i was saying okay yes it's a cool job of course everyone like applauds the medical the medical um doctor right but not everyone in this field is doing it for the right reasons. And I was never like so over the top or so, so surprised by a medical doctor. Okay, you're a doctor. Okay, what else? Like, okay, we have other professions. You're not necessarily the best. Because some doctors like really praise themselves a lot, right? But like, it doesn't mean that because some people like misrepresent, um, the job it doesn't mean that you can't get into it right and i previously like before god said let's go into medicine or shani go into medicine he was like i was never like so so into medicine i was like okay i i started to follow what people were saying in terms of okay you know i'm afraid of blood well, really i'm not that i'm not afraid of blood at all i remember one incident um I remember one incident, um, I, uh, an old lady in China, she fell down the stairs and there was a lot of blood. Like she had like, 
she had to go do surgery on her brain because she hit her she hit her head and she started bleeding heavily and i was so not disturbed like i was just cleaning it <laughs> and i know some people would freak out by that but it really didn't faze me and it didn't faze me in the sense that i didn't care like to help her but it didn't faze me as it scared me right so i was like okay why why did i um think that i was afraid of blood you know and it's because of what people were saying you know not saying directly to me but people are like oh you know i'm afraid of blood and oftentimes <laughs> we listen to how people view the same situation and hesitate to look at it or delve into it ourselves right and that's what i want us to i want us to break that cycle in 2023 let's not say okay because my friend um, feels this way about a certain thing let me also feel the very same right and if my friend is like it's not necessarily friend but if you hear of it don't just take it as gospel and then don't search it out yourself right and i encourage you to do the very same in regards to god in regards to the bible right don't just say okay shanik said this or your pastor said this your pastor said that you know search god and i know this is cliche but it's actually very um, important that we do this as christians or someone who is searching to know who god is right so into in 2023 i want us to seek the will of god ask him to redirect you to his path for your life and trust me five years later it may not take you five years but um whenever the dream finally starts coming to life you will be so happy like your heart will be so full like how i felt that day and how i'm still feeling now like this is my profession this is what i long to do right to take care of people right and when he brings you into his will it will be it will definitely be hard and the devil will try to fight you and try to let you divert from this path but stick to god even when you're fighting ask him like what i pray i'm like god even when i'm fighting you step in and take control block everything <laughs> i can't believe i prayed that and it did happen i said block everything that's not your will and i fought him many times because he blocked it he was answering the prayer and i was fighting him right and you are going to go through those trials it may just take a year or it may take um two three years four five ten years you never know but at the end it's still not the end for me but at some point you realize and then i'm still expecting greater blessings and greater trials to come but I know I'm in God's will. And that's what I want for you guys in 2023. Seek God's will. And be consistent in pursuing him. It's not just saying, oh, God, I want your will to be done in my life. And then it's just that. Right? It's God, I want your will to be done. He directs you. You go in the way. You go on the path that he's leading you. Be consistent even when it's hard. Right? And pray the prayer. He will definitely answer it. Block everything that's not your will. And you're going to cry. You're going to have turmoil. You're going to have heartache. Right, guys? But at one point, you realize the wait was worth it. Right, guys? Five years later, I'm looking. I'm like, wow, this is what I really want to do. Because I was still contemplating. I'm like, medicine. But no, medicine. Medicine is really nice right and i can't wait to start taking care of my babies you know and <laughs> fixing them and because i want to be a pediatric surgeon right imagine like you successfully do a surgery and then the baby looks at you and he's like thank you doctor oh my my heart ah weak <laughs> and i know like for other doctors other um, accomplishments would make their heart weak but you know me I'm, I'm Mama Shani right so I thank God and I want I thank God for his will for my life and I want you guys to experience the same guys for 2023 let's seek God's will for our life and let's 
prepare ourselves to go through the trial so that we can get to that point where we're like, okay, yes, God really knew me better than I knew myself. Okay, guys? <laughs> yeah. So be consistent, turn to God's will, and be open to whatever His desire is for you. That's really um, a good resolution to keep up. And being consistent is a gift. So ask Him to grant you that gift. And it's a daily prayer, a daily prayer. And trust me, one of those trials is to make you humble. So get in the mindset that you are going to be humbled by God. And that's a prayer you should also pray. I have prayed this before. I'm like, God, if ever, you see, I'm so boldly saying it right now. Hey, if a situation happens and he does this, <laughs> I'm going to be so heartbroken. But I know he's answering the prayer. Right? I said, if ever you bless me, and I start, to, I start exercising pride, you strip me of everything, you see? <laughs> it's a very bold prayer to pray, but I told him, my greatest desire is to be in your kingdom. So if you see the need to strip me of everything, then I know it's for a greater good, and that is to save my soul in the kingdom of heaven. And that should be your prayer as well. It's very bold, and but God will give you the strength to fulfill that. Yeah, it's a very bold prayer, but um, nevertheless, it's for the greater good. And it should be your motivation to stay humble so he doesn't have to fulfill that prayer, right? Yeah. So yes, guys, we are going to start our... We're going to start our Bible study next week on January 5th. Please like, share, and subscribe for the Bible study. We are going to see how God um, really wants us to learn the Bible from a simple way. I'm not going to be preaching or anything. We're just going to have a simple Bible study going from Genesis to Revelation. So it's going to take super long. All right, guys. And we are going to just take it bit by bit. Nothing too long, nothing too hard or ridiculous. Okay, guys. So, just simple truths and uh, simple readings. All right, guys. <sighs> and Happy New Year on Sunday. You know, prepare yourselves for the new year. I will not be having exams in the new year this time. I'm so happy. You should be happy for me too. <laughs> but anyways... Um, we are going to go and get our trivia question right now. So have a great day, guys. Bye-bye from 2022. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. It's Trivia Thursday time again. This week's trivia question is, I told her, just keep looking forward. What's so hard in doing that? Now look at her, stuck in the direction of her disobedience. <laughs> Can you guess who our Bible character for this week is? We'll find out in 2023. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's encouragement, and I hope you guys are ready for the day ahead. Now, do me a favor and press that like button and subscribe button if you are new so that we can get more of this positive Christian content out into the world, okay? And I'll link my daily devotional playlist right here and my Let's Talk playlist if you want to tackle some social issues, okay? So have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.